Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're discussing Tom Brady and what's made him so successful at his age 43 season. Before we get started, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like and a sub on today's video. I'm currently coming out with daily NFL content and my goal is to reach a thousand subscribers by the middle of January. So if you're interested in more NFL content, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. That said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So let's dive right in here, and this is going to be the first play we're going to look at. Um, this comes from the Lions game where Brady was absolutely fantastic in that first half. Uh, threw for over 300 yards, four touchdowns. And this play is from um, a sequence where they're up 27 to nothing, but they're going for another touchdown. So the first thing I want to show you here is just the coverage, right? Let's just look at the coverage here for a second. And um, basically what Brady wants, okay, Brady wants Antonio Brown on this route, right? Antonio Brown is going to run this route right here. Um, he's going to just go right to the end zone, and Brady knows that Brown is his guy in this scenario. That's the guy he wants the football um, to, but what's he got to do? What's he got to do is he knows that it's going to be man coverage, right? Man coverage here, man coverage here, man coverage here, um, tight end, uh, man coverage there, right? So he knows it's going to be man coverage across the board with a single high safety. So if the single high safety just sits back where he is, Brown, if he comes in into the space, he's not really going to be open. The single high safety, he can move over here. So what... Brady has to do is he has to move this safety to the right and what Brady is so good at doing is using his eyes to do this so let's just roll a clip here and let's pause right about there you see Brady's looking over here he's looking uh, for Brown Brown's gonna come here that's the guy that he wants but the single high safety here he's moving he sees he's reading Brady's eyes he sees Brady here and he understands that this is the guy he wants so Brady needs to move him over here if he wants to find Brown I mean Mike Evans is here that's gonna be a tough pass uh, Mike Evans is there that's gonna be a tough pass I mean Shady McCoy is out to the right he's got Chris Godwin over here but he really wants Brown he thinks that Brown can beat his guy which he's pretty much already done at this point this guy this corner over here is on Godwin tight end is here um, so basically it's just man to man across the board and Brown basically has beaten him in. so he needs to get the safety to move to the right so this is what he does and this is something that Brady has done all season and why he's so good at his age right now Brady Brady still wants Antonio Brown who's over here and he's gonna find him right there at the end of the day but now he's looking over here that's where his eyes are showing there's no one here there's I mean Brady is locked up with him Evans is locked up but now the safety's reading the eyes of Tom Brady. And the safety understands that, hey, he's looking over here. So we got we to gotta move over here. We got to shift the body weight. But now it's too late because roll the clip and pause right there. As soon as Brady is ready to throw the ball, as soon as Brady's about to throw the ball, right? As you can see here, right? The safety, his weight is on the wrong side. The safety, his, his weight's on the wrong side. He's got foot to the right. There's a massive hole over here. And Brady can fire the ball right into there, and we can roll the clip and show the rest. Because Brady adjusted his sights, he moved the safety to the right, he created space for Antonio Brown, and that plans up in a touchdown, and then that was Brady's last touchdown of the day. I mean, that is just textbook Brady, what he's been able to do all season, at a high level too. And there's more plays too. This is a play against the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, they're down 6 nothing early in the game, and Brady wants to take a deep shot here, right? So, I mean, if we look at the play here, um, it's pretty much man coverage across the board, right? Man, man, uh, there's there's a guy here, right? That's where the touchdown's going to end up be. And it's a similar situation where it's a single high safety, Anthony Harris in the back end. Um, so, what Brady understands is that, okay, there's going to be all these underneath routes, but he's got Scotty Miller here running, an, uh, running a post route uh, to the middle of the field. And what he's got to do is he's got to get Anthony Harris to step up. So all these underneath routes are going to come here, right? These underneath routes are going to come here. Um, and what's going to need to happen is he's going to need Anthony Harris to step up. So how does he get him to do that? Brady's magic all comes from his ability to make defenses move, um, make, uh, allow for defenses to be able to move. So right here is a really good example of what I'm talking about right here this situation right exactly here right he sees Anthony Harris let's just circle him there and you see Scotty Miller right here Scotty Miller is running right he is absolutely running his heart out and Brady knows he wants to go to Scotty Miller in this situation he's got all these underneath routes I mean he might be able to, to fit the ball in, into here uh, for a guy uh, I think that might be Mike Evans right there maybe even Godwin I mean it's tight there so he wants to take this deep shot 
I mean, he's got he's got his running back here um, in this situation. But I think in this situation, Brady wants to take a deep shot. How does he do that? He needs to get Anthony Harris to move down. So what he's able to do is he is by him looking over here, over here, not looking at Scotty Miller over the top, what he's able to do, Tom Brady in the situation, is bring Anthony Harris down, because Harris doesn't think that he's going to throw the ball deep. But yet, Brady, of course, is going to throw the ball deep. And you can see right here, right here in the situation, right, we have Brady once again, still the same play here. Um, we're looking at Brady, he's looking across the middle. Anthony Harris is flat-footed in the middle of the the secondary. He is completely flat-footed, and Scotty Miller is running his heart out to the end zone, okay? So in this situation, Anthony Harris, I mean, he's just, he's flat-footed, and, and Miller is running his heart out, so Miller is going to be by him in a second, and now Brady has the ability to go to the deep ball, and we're going to see it right here um, where Brady's about to throw the ball. If you can see right here, Brady, right, Anthony Harris, he now has to turn. He's got to turn, and Scotty Miller has beaten his guy, so Brady can just go over the top. Right? He's got the deep ball option. So him maneuvering his eyes and looking at different players um, allows him to move safeties, move linebackers, and make guys open. That's what he does so well, and that's, been, that's what he's been doing his entire career. But that's what he's allowing him to continue to be really good at a high level. And this is a good place uh, for us to just show you here. Right, In this situation, this is when Brady's about to throw. Right, You can see Anthony Harris right here. This is Scotty Miller. He's about to beat his guy. He's going this way. Uh, and the corner's on the outside. So he's beaten his 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 man. And Anthony Harris is flat-footed. He's moving the wrong direction. He's looking at all the Mike Evans and Chris Godwin stuff going over here. So Scotty Miller does a good job on the route, but Tom Brady makes Anthony Harris bite. And that allows for the space over the top. And it ends up in a touchdown. So that's obviously big for them. And then the final play is going to come on this fourth and three play. Um, against the Kansas City Chiefs. So, just want to show you uh, what this looks like, what the coverage looks like here. It's fourth and three. They're playing press man coverage here. Uh, man coverage here, man coverage here, man coverage there, right? There's these there's these one, two, three, four, five, six guys um, over here that we don't know if they're going to rush, but Brady understands that this guy's going to step back. He's seen this coverage before, right? So, it's going to be uh, it's going to be cover two um, and man coverage. This is as basic cover two as it gets, pretty much. So, with that said right? He sees the main coverage. He has Mike Evans going on this route. All this stuff here, he knows it's going to be clogged up. There's too many guys in this, in this scenario. And let's just roll the clip. You can see the touchdown there. Um, and you can see how he just throws the ball over the top, right? And here's a good angle, right? So if you if we look at Brady early in the play, he understands that Mike Evans, who's right here, is going to come here. But what he's got to do, he wants Mike Evans on, on, on the deep route. He understands that all this is going to be clogged up. Main coverage, there's a lot of bodies there. But he understands that he needs to get this safety to bite that way. So what, what he does is he looks in this direction. He knows that Mike Evans is going to beat the corner, right? It's Mike Evans. He's an elite wide receiver. So Brady is trusting his team. He's using his eyes to deceive defenders. And in this situation, he's actually able to move the safety to that direction. And you can see at this point, as soon as Brady averts his eyes, turns back to Mike Evans, right? Now he's looking at Mike Evans here right? He sees Mike Evans. He's the guy he wants, right? This, this safety, I mean, he's, he's out of position. He's got to run for his life. And Evans is able to just go by with his speed, strength, athleticism. So Brady is looking and manipulating the defense um, with his eyes. And, and this is even a better angle here. Um, if we look here for a second, right? Once again, Brady looking to his left. We see Brady looking to his left. This is the guy he's got to make sure moves this direction or gets flat footed in one scenario. And by looking here, he makes he opens up space over here. What he's able to do with his eyes is open up space for his receivers to run into. And now, when he turns back into uh, the play, right, to, right back into the into where he wants to, right, he's looking at here. He's about to throw the ball, and the safety is flat-footed, right. So what he can, what can he do? There's open space over here. He can throw it into the open space. He knows Mike Evans is going to win in coverage. So that is what Tom Brady has been able to do this season, especially well. He's just been fantastic in his ability um, to move defenders with his eyes, move, his, move defenders with his perception to allow space for his receivers and tight ends and running backs to run into and for easier to throws to happen. So what he's able to do is he's not going to beat you with his athleticism um, or his arm talent. He's got good arm talent. Of course, he can make every throw on the football field. But what he does is he uses his mind and his eyes to deceive and trick defenders to allow for open space for his receivers. And that's why Brady's been really successful at age 43. So now that we've looked at what Tom Brady's been able to do really well this season, let's talk about his stats. So this season, in 15 games, 
he has 4,200 yards, 36 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. And those are basically the stats that you're going to need to hear. That's a very good season for his standards, even compared to the past few seasons of his career. Last season, um, in 2019, he had 4,000 yards for 24 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. He's thrown for more touchdowns and more interceptions this year, but at a very good rate. I mean, he has done a fantastic job in Tampa Bay, and he is the reason why this Tampa Bay team is in the playoffs. I mean, yep, they have a good defense. Yes, they have good offensive weapons, but... Tom Brady compared to Jameis Winston, what he was able to do in 2019, that is the reason why Tampa Bay is going to be a playoff team. So, what does Tom Brady do? I've already shown you in the film um, that he beats you with his mind. He beats you with his eyes. Um, he allows for, uh, he makes defenders move. Uh, the way he looks at players, the, um, the way he understands and anticipates throws allows for defenders to move, open up space. Um, and that really allows for Tom Brady to be so successful in the passing game, especially at an older age. His eyes, his body, his anticipation are off the charts. And I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that other quarterbacks in the NFL don't do this. Every quarterback in the NFL uses their eyes uh, to their advantage, but Brady does it better than anyone else. And that is the reason why he's been able to be so successful. And then you add in the fear factor that playing Tom Brady has. I mean, this guy's a 14-time Pro Bowler. He's a six-time Super Bowl champion, three-time MVP, future Hall of Famer, and the best quarterback of all time. When you play against Tom Brady, it's scary. I mean, as a Dolphins fan, I know, growing up, right, whenever we played Tom Brady, right, it's we're going to lose, right? It's We're, we're up six with, with two minutes left. Oh, no, that's, that's like ages for Tom Brady, and that's because he's done it his entire career. He's been so successful in clutch situations that playing against him is scary. There's a fear factor, right? People know, the defense knows that Brady's going to win. Brady knows that he's going to win, and the offense knows that Brady's going to win because it's Tom Brady, right? That, there's a reason that people call him the greatest quarterback of all time because his clutch attitude, his ability to win in big situations, his leadership, his skills on and off the field. I mean, this guy is a legend, and he's the best player of all time, and that's coming from a Dolphins fan, right? I have the utmost respect for him. Of course, I don't like what he did in New England. Of course, I'm a Dolphins fan. I can't like what he did in New England, but I respect it. He's a very good football player, and his ability to make defenses move with his eyes is something that has allowed him to be really successful later on in his career. And I'm not saying that other quarterbacks don't do it. Of course, guys like Patrick Mahomes, I mean, all the great quarterbacks right now, they do it, but they beat you differently. Brady does not have the athleticism. I mean, he's never had the athleticism. He's never had the biggest arm, but he's always been accurate because of his mechanics and his ability to freeze defenses and move defenses. And those plays I showed you earlier prove it. Also, his leadership and experience, like Aaron Rodgers or like Drew Brees, are something else that's really impressive. But the thing is that Brady has the edge on them. Brady's a six-time Super Bowl champion. He's been in every game situation po possible. And if you look at the other great quarterbacks of all time, I mean, even that are currently playing, guys like Drew Brees, guys like Aaron Rodgers, uh, guys like Big Ben, they've only been to a couple Super Bowls. I mean, Rodgers has won one, Brees has won one, Roethlisberger's won two. Um, they, they, they just don't compare to Tom Brady. I mean, even a guy like Phil Rivers, he hasn't even won a Super Bowl. Um, he hasn't made it to a Super Bowl. So Tom Brady and his career success throughout his career, um, especially in the playoffs, is what allows him to be so successful. He's been in every game situation possible, and that is still paying dividends even late into his career. And here's an even crazier stat. Every year since 2002, Brady, when he's been healthy, has led a team to the playoffs. That fear factor is something that is scary to play against, but more importantly, the eyes, the anticipation, the body control, um, his ability to fool defenses and his ability to make defenses move to allow space to open up is why he has been able to be really, really good even at age 43. And if you look at the great quarterbacks of all time, guys like Dan Marino, guys like Peyton Manning, um, guys like even like Drew Brees, I mean, they fell off at the end of their career. Drew Brees is currently falling off. He is not what he was a few years ago. And if, if you look at a guy like Peyton Manning in that last season when he went to the Super Bowl, that team was carried by their defense, right? Peyton Manning was not good that year. I mean, he got injured, he threw a ton of interceptions, he was not the Peyton Manning that we were accustomed to seeing, and that was something that, you know, the Denver Broncos had to had to go through, right? Their defense was fantastic that year. Von Miller carried that team to the Super Bowl. Peyton Manning was not good. If you look at Dan Marino's last few years of his career, he was throwing more interceptions than touchdowns. He was not efficient throwing the football. And even Drew Brees, he doesn't look like the same player. Great quarterbacks drop off toward their end of their careers. It's proven. It's been proven time and time again by those quarterbacks, and even more guys, too. But Brady, even at age 43, who's old, right? He's the oldest quarterback in the NFL, and he's still playing like a top 10 quarterback in the NFL because what he's able to do with his mechanics and his arm talent is be accurate with the football. And then you mix it with his scary decision-making and scary clutchness and those just intangibles that he has. 
you get a great quarterback. And then you add the the eye movement and the ability to deceive defenses with his where he's looking and who he's throwing to. And then you're able to f- fool defenses with uh, his ability to look at one spot and then throw to another and move the safety over, move a linebacker over, freeze a defender. He makes space for his offensive weapons. And even, I mean, in New England last year, he was doing, I mean, New, he's done this throughout his entire career. Don't get me wrong. And there's also every other quarterback in the NFL does it, right? That's how they're good. That's how they're NFL quarterbacks. They're able to do this. However, Brady does it better than anyone else in the NFL. He beats you with his mind. He is not athletic. He's no Patrick Mahomes. He doesn't have the ability to get outside the pocket. He's not Josh Allen. He doesn't have that huge, crazy arm strength that, you know, he can make every single throw on the football field. However, what Tom Brady is able to do is he's able to be a great pocket passer in a day and age where pocket passers are diminishing. You don't really see guys anymore like Tom Brady who are able to sit in the pocket, make every read on the football field because he's seen every read on the football field. He understands. He's got the experience, leadership, um, obviously the clutch gene, and then he just has the ability to move and freeze defenses. And there are other quarterbacks in the NFL that are having very good, successful seasons, but they're doing it in a different way. They're being able to get out of the pocket. Brady's one of the last guys to be able to sit in the pocket and just be so accurate with the football and be able to be really, really, really dominant. Um, and he could be the last guy to ever be this good and be this good in this way. So with that said, I mean, this idea came to me when I was watching the Detroit lions Bucks game. Um, I just saw Brady flinging the ball. I'm like, I have to make a video about why Brady is so good and what's he been able to do so far this season. So I looked at some film, and I mean, I showed you the film I looked at, and I just think that his ability to move defenses with his eyes and freeze defenders allows for open space, and his anticipation, he just he just has great quarterback skills, and he's been able to continue that throughout his entire career. And that's going to end the video for today. Before you leave, please drop a like and a sub. That would really help my uh, channel grow. I'd really appreciate it. I'm uh, currently posting three videos a week. Um, so if you're interested in more football content for the remainder of the season, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.